as the co-chair of the Climate and Clean Air Coalition. This is a coalition that has come together willingly around the world to reduce short-lived climate pollutants. Short-lived climate pollutants are pollutants that leave in the atmosphere for a period between two weeks and a month or two, but have great global warming potentials. These are black carbon soot, methane, tropospheric ozone, and HFCs. We are the ones today that must commit, and we are thankful to the Secretary General for bringing everybody together because we need to sit together and agree to take action. Luckily for us, the CCAC is called the Coalition of the Working, and we come together voluntarily to take action. And we must come out of Abu Dhabi with a yes, a yes to take action. From an African perspective, it is part of our own survival to take action. Because for Africa, the warming is at one and a half times the global rate. And for the Arctic, the warming is at almost twice the global rate. We have enough evidence to take action, and we must. As you know, reducing SLCP can produce significant near-term climate benefits while also improving human health. That is why today I propose, one, to reduce methane emissions from the oil and gas sector and to capture and use methane from municipal waste management systems. Two, to reduce black carbon emissions from freight. Three, to work together to phase down HFCs. Four, to work towards saving lives of women and children by providing clean cooking technologies. And five, to ensure that public and private finance are directed to scale up and to reduce these harmful, short-lived climate pollutants. But we need to also go a step further. We need to work out of Abu Dhabi, not only with words, but with real mitigation action. So, on oil and gas, we will work to build a public-private partnership to systematically reduce methane emissions in the oil and gas sector through venting and flying. Now, what the CCAC is doing through the Oil and Gas Initiative is getting a methane partnership signed. 16 countries and 16 ministers have put their signatures on a statement to take action. We need to see more. On freight, we will work on Global Green Freight Action Plan to foster greater cooperation and a platform to engage the private sector to expand and harmonize green freight programs. On HFCs, we will work with government and private sector to promote a global phase down of HFCs. As you are aware, there are between 15 and 10 to 15 annual increase in some countries such as mine that have a craving for cooling systems. And these are shifting from Europe to somewhere in Africa with substandard and used uh, uh, refrigerants that are called tokumo in my country. On agriculture, we will work to reduce methane through livestock and manure management and improve powderized production as well as black carbon from open burning practices. This is a triple win approach to enhance food security, to strengthen livelihood while mitigating climate change. On municipal waste management, we will promote the scaling up of city actions on solid waste management to achieve ambitious reductions from the waste sector by addressing methane and black carbon emissions. We are already working with 26 cities in the coalition, but we want more. We need to do more. We want to reach 100 cities by September to significantly scale up city actions beyond the coalition. In Nigeria, and many other countries of the coalition. We have already started national assessment and national action plans with the ambition to mainstream short-lived climate pollutants as part of national developmental plans. Senator we must we must move on. Thank you so yes. much. No, finally, we on behalf of the CCAC, we would like to enjoin all of you here to come on board and join one or more of the initiatives
initiatives of the Climate and Clean Air Coalition. Thank you. Thank you so much.